No, you don't have any. It's 900 degrees out there. It's time for a Gen X update that's been weatherproofed. Recently, I was categorized as a chicago Fornian, which is just awkward enough for me to adopt it as my entire personality. Going from Chicago to Sacramento is going from a crowded polar vortex to an empty surface of the sun. Confusing. But it's not just confusion, it's climate change in action as a result of humans doing what they do best, ruining everything. California is known as a climate change leader. Take the California Global Warming Solutions Act, which required the state to get to 1990 levels of emissions by 2020, and they did it by 2016. They've created thousands of good paying jobs by taxing pollution, and it runs mostly on clean energy. Then why am I here? Because California is still a huge oil and gas state. It's getting hotter every year, we're getting more wildfires, deteriorating air quality, causing more cases of asthma, and the highest utility costs in the country. Yeah, yeah, look at that. And the only thing that's going to stop oil and gas companies from trying to kill us is actual legislation. So here is an actual rage desk. About time. Look, we are huffing pollutants out here. It's amazing I even need weed. I'm just kidding, I do. I, do. I really do. California makes and refines a lot of oil, and the oil and gas companies would very much like to keep it that way. That's probably why they killed a proposed bill that would have taxed pollutants and given money to the communities that are most impacted by climate change. You know, the low-income ones. Who fights low-income communities with asthma? The same people fighting a law that would put a 3,200-foot buffer between derricks and schools. This fucking thing. You know, so kids can play their favorite game. There will be blood. Listen, I can limit my showers and kill my gardens, but we need to vote for people who give a shit. Enter Climate Action California. They are endorsing and supporting candidates who put the planet first in their policies. We were told knowledge is power, so it's time we get some fucking power back. That's all for tonight. Remember, we're Gen X, and we're really sorry about all that aerosol hairspray.